How wide are we? How are my glasses doing? It's never ending. <laughs> I got new glasses. I'm, I'm getting new glasses tomorrow. Costco. Got them, I mean. All right. <laughs> so we're here in Santa Monica today. Uh, it's Memorial Day weekend and we're working with the organization called Oats a Country. They're putting on this walk ride event to recognize those that had fallen uh, in service to the country. It's uh, 11 miles. We're going to, I think, Manhattan Beach and back. So it's 22 miles. They're setting some veterans up on some bikes. We have some of our team coming out to show support. Pretty excited about it. I mean, as some of you may or may not know, I'm a disabled veteran and sometimes a little bit weird for me to participate in these things. It feels uncomfortable at times. I don't know, sometimes I want to like relive things, but Justin, the organizer, reached out to us and thought now it's good a time of any to get back into this. Yeah, it should be a fun time. And I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to bring some of the team around and bring some support to this, uh, this event here. Oh yeah, and Memorial Day, it's not just about barbecues. It's great that you got the day off, but remember what it's about. Nice yeah. cloudy day from Santa Monica Pier. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to get hit by cars in the parking lot. Be safe, kids. I want to see oh, really some wheelies, bro. Some Dude, burnouts. Let's see the burnouts. What do you think, Alexa? I'm yeah. learning a lot. Tara, just like Amsterdam. Remember? Yeah, leave, leave no one behind. Rolling. Rolling. <laughs> People got lost along the ride, and uh, we happened to go stop and get some snacks, and we found them. So we're gonna try and bring them back to the trail here. It's one of the troubles with e-bikes. You know, people can tend to get a little lost. It, you know, it's not such a bad thing, no. Right this way, guys. Now it's time to take a picture. That's what we're doing. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. to the barbecue. You get to <laughs> if we had a class three bike, we'd actually be first to the barbecue. This is so unfair. Like, it like stops me at 20. I Doesn't thought you were a competitive cyclist, huh? <laughs> that guy right there, he's trying to race you. So, I don't know, Asia. Just trying to show him what's up. Right, you really, you really start up. working though, right? After 20, you're like, that's all you. That's all, that's all you, Asia. So I haven't done too many of these veteran sort of events and I just want to share my experience as a vet because I guess a lot of people might have that natural inclination to think that I would naturally want to always be joining these sort of groups and activities etc but in some ways I guess I just wanted to you know live my life and not necessarily be defined by my military service and that sort of thing and 
I know many people that are in many ways and I think that that's great and I really respect that and I think that having pride in that is a really good thing. It's a, it's a challenging thing, uh, you know, it's this thing that I've thought about a lot, you know, that sometimes I have some mixed feelings about the war and that sort of stuff and the purpose there and, you know, but one of the challenging things is this idea of not supporting the war but supporting veterans and I think that's a very challenging thing to do. Like, is that even possible to do? I think a lot of vets have trouble, you know, with this. If, you know, people feel their work is not worthy or good or whatever, it's really tricky. I guess I'm, I'm trying to integrate myself more into that community and perhaps provide some service and and be helpful. I, I think it's important to do, to give back. I mean, there's definitely vets that came before me that helped me out when I first came back from Iraq when I was not necessarily in the best of spirits and such. It, it feels good to participate in this today. I guess I just wanna say that it's it's not easy. I don't think it's easy for, for any vet. And just thinking about Memorial Day and thinking about what it's really about and the, the fallen soldiers and all those that are impacted by this. I, I hope that we can get to a place where we're less divided and perhaps war becomes less necessary. Um, you know, and, and perhaps some of the things that, that fuel our, our need to participate in war and such becomes less necessary. And I guess in part that's, that's part of what I put so much effort into propel for that purpose. That's, for me, this is my new mission. I try to make my own life kind of a mission to be of service to others. I don't necessarily need to have somebody else dictate that. For me, it's just trying to make the world a little bit better than how it was when I came to it. Just do what I can on my side and help others how I can. It's a little weird for me. I'm not really always so comfortable sharing these kind of deeper feelings inside, particularly relating to my military service, but I'm gonna make an effort to open up more on these things in the future. Hopefully that could be helpful to others. Because as I said, it's definitely not so cut and dry or easy to understand or explain so much, but I think it's important to try to understand it and try to get right with. But for those that have served or, or, or close to somebody that served, or more specifically during this time, lost somebody that served, uh, I understand it's not easy. And I actually, there's a lot of these different experiences that I haven't had myself. There's a lot of these you know, experiences of loss that I haven't had. I've had my own challenges and such, but there's definitely some pretty serious things that you can experience. And I guess we all just need to be patient with each other and be empathetic with each other. Thanks.